hey guys welcome to moonlight shadows this is going to be really quick messages for the collective what do you guys need to know for this full moon in sagittarius take what resonates this is a timeless reading but i am picking up the messages for the full moon in sagittarius what do you guys need to know okay so two cards came through already take what resonates this is a general message for personal private readings the info is in the description below I do see you're standing up for yourself and this is a time for you to be real get honest with yourself time to reassess reevaluate where you're at where you're going how you can move forward what are your plans what are your next steps there's something here about making a plan having goals what are the steps and following through on what it is that you need to do in order to achieve something that is going to bring you a lot of financial success and blessings right now you could be feeling a little bit stuck or in your head emotions could be running high up and down left and right either feeling super energetic super sad or emotional or angry and that's okay because whatever you're feeling it's allowing you to identify what is within your higher self that you need to release so if you're super angry what is it that's upsetting you and how can you transmute that energy into something productive if you're super emotional how can you release that so that it's no longer a part of you and you stop dwelling on it maybe it's cord cutting maybe it's a burning bull ceremony maybe it's creating a new project that's going to ignite that fire within you as we channel the energy of the full moon in Sagittarius so that you can take that initiative to be that leader that you've always been in order to achieve something that is very near and dear to your heart, whether that's something that you're going to share with the world or something that you just need to accomplish for your own personal goal. But I do see you taking time to contemplate being real and getting honest with yourself and seeing the truth of a particular situation or identifying something within yourself that needs to change. You're letting go of the past. You're starting something new. As most full moons talk about releasing something that's no longer for your highest good. But with that comes the energy of contemplating, connecting to your higher self, your angels, your guides, your spiritual team, so that you can continue to receive additional inner wisdom and insight from these energies so that you can have confidence within yourself on what you need to do next. You could be an air sign. You could be an earth sign. It doesn't matter. But I see you taking time out to reflect on where you've been, where you want to go, and how you need to get there. Meditation for sure. The Queen of Wands, claiming back your energy, your spiritual path, and growth is what I'm hearing is something of significance for you. You're claiming back your energy for sure, especially if there was some stuck energy that you may have been experiencing. Now is the time I'm hearing, uh-uh, honey, no, how, no way, no more. Now is the time for you to release that stuck energy you're no longer going to be in that place you're going to get some type of like jolt of energy a boost of some sort that is going to help catapult you into your future successful self to achieve something that maybe even you didn't realize you could achieve the queen of wands is someone who's very confident very beautiful very much in her energy and knows that she is more than capable of achieving whatever it is that her heart desires she is a strong manifester aside from being extremely beautiful on the inside and on the outside so that's the energy that i'm picking up for the collective let's see what else what is the other message for the collective i see you working with a yellow crystal or claiming back your solar plexus energy and with the knight of wands getting your motivation back i'm seeing 444 i'm also seeing carnelian and there could be a potential connection that maybe was uh, another side message because these are going to be random messages there could have been a connection that was kind of slow and now it's starting to pick up you're starting to gain momentum in this relationship or connection whatever this looks like for you whether that's a friendship or an actual uh romantic connection something was kind of stuck now it's, tr it's starting to i heard we're going to try again and i'm hearing it's starting to gain momentum so that's a good sign you do have financial blessing or some type of business partnership is going to be successful or you're going to create something and invest in something and the outcome is positive when it comes to finances. The letter R could be significant. J L S T Q A. R you said R. What else? G E A Y. Those are significant letters for somebody out there <laughs> the two of wands i do see a path being made clear for you or options you have a choice you're at a crossroads there's a decision that is going to be made but i'm also seeing that you're embarking on a new journey that's very exciting the road less traveled is what i am hearing let's see what else two of wands for the collective yeah the magician you're definitely manifesting a successful outcome i feel like you're moving past the three of swords 
you have healed from something or you are getting real with yourself about what needs to change so that you can heal, so that you can move forward, so that you can balance your chakras, so that you can be more aligned with your root chakra, to be more grounded, to be more focused, not feeling overwhelmed. If there was anybody that was trying to cause any tension or stress or create some type of uh, chaos, chaos magic is what I'm hearing. This could be someone that you trusted. It could be a mother figure, someone that was like a nurturing energy. That is going to stop. They are not going to be able to affect you because you are in a higher frequency with the six of swords. I'm also getting you have uh, spiritual energies coming through to, I heard their back, as if someone who's passed away has came back in spirit to be your guardian protector or protectress is what I'm hearing to make sure that you're in this energy, which is emotional fulfillment, happiness, with things to be proud of as opposed to the three of swords which would be sadness and heartbreak you're healing your heart chakra if someone's manifesting against you um they're going to be running away like a dog with its tail between its legs is what i'm hearing because your spiritual team is going to show them to not mess with you there could have been someone that was trying to block your creativity and they're going to have a hollow victory here with the five of swords they know they can't mess with you they know that they can't win. They already know that you're aware of what they're doing or they're going to get a sign from your spiritual team. Your ancestors is going to show them. Ancestors are going to show them they can't mess with you. And if they're trying to, your ancestors are going to give them a good scare and they're going to know not to mess with you. It's like they're going to get scared. Your ancestors might be coming to uh, torment for some of you. If that resonates, it's almost like um, you're bullying somebody collective. You have an enemy who's trying to bully you by spiritually attacking you. And your ancestors are coming through to tell this bully you need to stop because if you don't stop, I'm going to put you in your place. And now this bully is scared. The bully becomes the one who is now getting bullied by your ancestors. So it's a warning. They either need to stop or they're going to get a taste of their own medicine and they're going to get really scared by whatever this is. It's not a good energy. They're going to be haunted or that psychic attack or negative low vibrational energy that they're trying to send to you collective. They're going to experience that times three. I'm hearing three. I'm hearing whispers. I'm seeing shadows as far as that's what they are going to experience in a negative way. It will be revealed to you. Um, you're going to know in a meditation or in your dream state, or you're going to see a lot of signs and synchronicities or that person's name might pop up out of nowhere. I heard Rose or the Rose could be significant for some of you. Uh, others of you, it could be an actual name and others of you could be um, putting roses in your home or rose water to bring that nurturing healing energy that you need with the star card here. Any other messages for the collective? Remember to cleanse yourself on the full moon because people are trying to do good and bad. So you want to make sure that you keep your energy in a good space where you are shielding yourself and cleansing yourself and um, staying connected to your spiritual team and your higher self is aligned with your body as well mind and spirit the hermit card talks about going within um the card fell <laughs> so it's like if you feel like you've been through something difficult collective just know that better times are ahead stay optimistic do not give up i know it's easier said than done but remember your spiritual team is with you they have your back remember to communicate with them because communication is very important and your spiritual team is with you at all times with the eight of pentacles continue to work on yourself there is progress there is growth you may be uh, feeling a need to do something on your own or you feel like you don't have help from other people that's okay those people are blocked from your energy field from your space for a reason whether you know it or not it's like the rejection is god's protection how people say but it's like um it literally is your spiritual team is protecting you from someone's negativity so they are blocked from connecting with you all your hard work is going to pay off 9 11 archangel michael is protecting you your angel numbers are showing you signs and synchronicities that you are not alone in spirit your spiritual team is with you they've never left they're with you right now some of you guys may get goosebumps as i say that because you could be letting negativity affect you and you may be feeling lonely, like, why do I have to do all this by myself? Or where are my friends? Or where are my coworkers? Or where is this person that was always there and now they're gone? It's because the universe is showing you that you're meant to do this on your own. They cannot follow where you're going. Or where you're going is on a higher level of success or spiritual ascension, level up of some sort. They can't follow because they're not there yet. They still have some healing to do and that's okay. 
we go through a lot of spiritual changes and transformation and sometimes we can't take those people with us and that's okay no need to feel sad for them you continue to focus on yourself this person could also be jealous or envious of you aries leo sagittarius um, they need to focus on themselves or it could just be sagittarius because we are in the full moon of sagittarius right now but this person cannot follow where you're going because you guys have different destinies different things to work on different spiritual paths you are two different people with the eight of swords this person could be really stuck in their head about you or starting to realize that they can't mess with you and that they need to heal within themselves work on themselves instead of focusing on you the stress that this person has is going to be sent back to them they could have difficulty in their household but it's because of the way they're treating you or the energy that they send to you it's going to backfire if they want you to have drama with your friends family the things that you love they're trying to cause blockages all that's going to get sent back to them they're going to experience it they think they have a blessing i don't think so that blessing turns into something negative because of the energy that they're sending to you it's being returned to them by the universe and it's going to happen within three to five days is what i'm hearing and that is truth you have a new beginning with the full card here or a new path something new and exciting a new chapter in your life is going to be happening and your enemies will be getting some type of bad karma you have good karma karmic justice and a good outcome in a legal situation i also see financial blessings for you with the king of pentacles and i'm nurturing yourself with the page of cups or having attention of others friends and family that do care about you it's a good time to be in the energy of those who genuinely care about you and if you don't have anyone around you, this means you will be whining and dining yourself. Things change in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune, which I heard the Wheel of Karma, so has commenced, it has begun. I'm also getting someone was doing beauty magic on you to make you look older. They were trying to, they were jealous of your beauty, your looks. Judgment is being passed. This person is going to get really old. They're going to get that energy. They could be um, either you're a cancer or they're a cancer. Or there's a strong cancer placement. I'm also getting, they could be very emotional because they could have been like oh my god why does the collective look so young and whoever your enemy is is um looking a little bit older they got some wrinkles or maybe this person is genuinely like 10 20 years older than you and that's not your fault collective you're just aging beautifully because that's who you are this person's jealous of you um they wanted to make you look older so they could have done a beauty spell to make you uh feel like you don't look beautiful or they could have done a beauty spell to make others think you look ugly when in reality that's not a thing you're you're a beautiful soul collective this person you're gonna notice they're gonna look like they age 10 years you're gonna notice you're gonna be like oh my god this person looks hella old all of a sudden they didn't look like that before they're going to it's because the energy is going to go back to them because that's their karma you are going to go through a glow up collective just know that that's going to happen i heard just wait and see with the seven of pentacles it's only a matter of time because this is already in progress so that's what i have for you collective let me know if that resonates i know the messages are all over the place but that's the point of the random messages take the message that you feel is for you and the one is not to leave it alone remember to be in the energy of gratitude release the past welcome the new and stay cleansed protected and blessed and i send you many blessings bye